Welcome to 5 Minute School. This video I'm going to talk about just a quick follow up on the last video on the coagulation system. And in this video, I just want to briefly talk about its regulation. Now, we already know that we have three pathways. We have the intrinsic pathway, the extrinsic pathway, and when those two meet at the formation of factor 10A, we then have uh, the common pathway, which results in fibrin as the end product. It results in a stable fibrin clot. Now, this uh, mechanism um, is severely regulated in the... Uh, human body because if we had some form of uh, pathological uh, disease uh, which resulted in clots just forming everywhere obviously we'd have um, uh, thrombus formation we'd have uh, cases of ischemia and uh, we'd have um, a lot of uh, hypoxic problems because the the uh, clot in place would block blood from traveling in the blood vessels so this uh, coagulation mechanism is severely regulated so just to begin this video, blood under normal conditions is kept in a fluid state and the coagulation pathway is kept under control via the following mechanisms. So we have uh, protease inhibitors and the fibrinolytic system. So in regards to the protease inhibitors, uh, we have various uh, protease, which means enzymes which digest proteins, which act on these coagulation factors to oppose the formation of thrombin. And these are the protease inhibitors. We have antithrombin 3, protein C, C1 inactivator, alpha 1 antitrypsin, and alpha 2 macroglobulin. So these are the main protease inhibitors which act on these coagulation factors. And the end result is we do not have the formation of thrombin, which you can see uh, at this stage it's converted from prothrombin into thrombin and there are a variety of tissue factors which sorry not tissue factors uh, a variety of clotting factors which lead up to this point here so the end result of um, inhibiting these clotting factors were, would be uh, we wouldn't have thrombin formation now another mechanism is uh, through the fibrinolytic system and we have plasmin which is a enzyme it's a potent fibrinolytic enzyme so it digests fibrin so plasmin is formed by the action of plasminogen activator on plasminogen present in the normal plasma so in the actual plasma itself we normally have pl plasminogen as one of the proteins um, when we once we have a plasminogen activator act on this plasminogen it converts it into plasmin and plasmin is a potent fibrinolytic enzyme so plasmin has the capability of destroying clots now there are two types of plasminogen activators we have tissue type plasminogen activator which is derived from endothelial cells and leukocytes and we have urokinase like plasminogen activator which is present in the plasma itself and finally, just to end this video, plasmin, which is the potent fibrinolytic enzyme, acts on fibrin. It destroys the clot and it produces fibrin split products. Okay, so that's all I want to discuss today on the, on the regulation of the coagulation system. Thank you very much for watching.